Hi hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Medieval 2. On this episode, the first thing we want to do is talk to Winston. Right, Dan, you've come along. What? No, Dan, we're okay. You're alive. I thought you'd been crushed in the wreckage. I'm going to tell the prophet Kia what's going on. I don't know what's around the next corner, so if you see the spiv, I'd stock up on ammo. From this point, you're on your own, Dan. Good luck. I'm on my own from this point, as opposed to, you know, the whole game up to this point. But, um, yeah, there's a film rejuvenation here. The last one in the game, everyone. Straight up boss fights from here on in. So, do I have any money? Oh, I do. So, now that I have money, I'm just gonna spend it all on Gatling on ammo. If I run out of armor, if I run out of shields, who cares? I'm gonna cut my silver shield because I'm out of gold. And here comes Pale Torn and his two idiotic servants. I'll tell you Bodyguards, that, I guess. Not really servants. Oh. Well, that's all that ever turned to shit. I knew you'd find the last page of Zarek's spellbook for me. You should have joined me. We would have made a great team. Instead, I got lumbered with these two. But Master, I... Silence. Think about it, Daniel. An eternity by my side. Why, with my power. I could put flesh onto your bones as easy as pie. I'll never join you. You tell him that. Could you mumble that again? No? Oh well. You two can redeem yourselves. Kill him while I decide. <laughs> uh, it's time for fight number two with these guys. You could um, use the hammer technique like I used last time, but I'm going to just use my magic sword. Just because it kills him a hell of a lot quicker, so... Do whatever way you prefer personally. Just try not to get too close to Dogman. The sword is good enough range you can stay away from the boss. He can stun you and that's the last thing you want. Like that. But when you're like me and you just use a lot of life off the game's temporary immunity, you don't really care. Imagine now if he would have taken off I think he did take off a full life bottle off you if you got caught at the wrong time with that. So that's those two idiotic clowns defeated it. I think. I think they are. Did the door open? No. Oh, it did, sorry. <laughs> okay. And now we want to enter this next area. So just jump straight across here. Oh, you've killed my beloved servants. Oh, we actually called them servants. That <laughs> was right. Well, Daniel, it's been fun, but now I'm afraid the game is over, and it's time for you to die. Well, I guess you won't be the first guy to say that to Sir Dan, but... I guess when it's two on one, and one of your opponents is a massive immortal demon, the tables are kind of in his favour. But... The thing about fighting demons, especially in video games, is that they handily enough use a set of predictable attack patterns that you can exploit. So if you have the Gatling gun, use it. And when he gets powered up for this attack, what you want to do is you want to just stand in the middle and then run to the left or the right, depending on where he's about to strike. And when he knocks his head back like that, he's got to use his, his, that fire attack, just jump in the middle to um, avoid it. And just keep shooting a pale torn until you knock out his engine. And then you start shooting at the demon, which basically causes the demon as you just saw to uh, hit him. So when he powers up his left fist, he's going to attack the right hand side. And when he powers up his right fist, he's going to attack the um, left hand side. So just get ready to and dash across, and it should be okay. Just busy. Watch out for the rockets and just watch out for um, machine guns. And you should be okay. And just watch out for the fireballs. He starts shooting doubles and triples, so. And basically, once you see that engine blow up, stop shooting to save your ammo because you'll probably need it. Just watch out for the fists. If only that demon took a swipe straight across that platform. Maybe right. So just watch out for the fist again. 
does. So I think the fist stuns you if it hits you, so. Um, just watch out for that. Oh, I got hit by the fire there. Ah! Oh, missed my opportunity. We can start again now. Damn you, Pale Torn. And you and your stupid rockets that I hate. Just watch over this attack. One, two, three. Watch over the fire. Damn. Oh, come on, we should have gotten there. Whoa. Oh, crap. Damn it, she got me twice. Don't keep blasting either. I hope I have enough time to record all this. Oh damn it! Oh nuts. Oh yes it is. A light beard. Yes, we got him. Three hits. So we just want to watch out for this fist again. We're on the last round now, as you can tell. 75 damage times four. Don't worry about losing your health. Just the last push. This time he shoots four missiles at us, so. So you watch out for those. Watch out for this horrible fire attack that I hate. Whoa! -ho -ho. Uh oh. Damn you! That was too hard quick. I'm nuts! Ah! So let's go one more round, because for some reason he hit me there when he shouldn't have. I'm probably gonna lose all my health, aren't I? <laughs> well, at least this final boss is tough. I don't think we can actually knock him out here, just then. Um... Yes, we got him! So now we defeated him. <laughs> Stupid demon attacking your master. We defeat the Pale Torn at long last. However, this is going to be a good time to pause the game. Find out what happens at the end of Medieval 2 next time on Let's Play Medieval 2. This is Rexus signing out. Thanks for watching. See you next time.